And good morning to you out in the metaverse. Uh, I'm Stephanie Lenway. I'm Dean of the Opus College of Business. And I'm delighted to welcome everybody virtually and in person to uh, this co conference on converging technologies. So my job is to introduce Eddie Rojas, the Executive Vice President and Provost of the University of St. Thomas since August 1st. Eddie comes from University of Dayton, uh, where he brings a lot of uh, the vision that sh is shared with St. Thomas for principal leadership. And he is a civil engineer trained at the University of Colorado, and his career has spanned from Buffalo to University of Washington to Omaha to Dayton. He didn't come here directly because Omaha is a lot closer, but he's here now. So please join me in welcoming Provost and Executive Vice President Eddie Rojas. Thank you, Stephanie, and I want to welcome all of you to this conference and those of you that are watching on Zoom or watching the recording. Uh, thank you very much for participating. When they told me about this conference, uh, Stephanie, it reminded me of my years as a faculty member. And what she mentioned is correct. I'm a civil engineer, but within civil engineering, I, I specialize in construction engineering and management. And within construction engineering and management, my area of research was related to emerging technologies. So throughout my entire academic career, I had the pleasure of working with virtual reality, with modeling, simulation, visualization, uh, to work with PhD students looking at how to apply all of these technologies in the construction field and the engineering field in general. And as an engineer, you can imagine I'm very fond of technologies. Um, I still have to, to see a technology that I don't like to play with. Um, and so the Converging Technologies Conference, to me, is a fantastic opportunity to learn about the latest and greatest uh, innovations and innovators, and more importantly, how they are applying those technologies for the benefit not only of their companies or organizations, but also for the benefits of society. And that is extremely important for us. Um, at the University of St. Thomas, we are educating our students, as we say, to deploy digital technologies for the common good. We do this in many areas, in engineering, in the liberal arts and sciences, and obviously in the Opus College of Business as well. Uh, through the Liberal Arts Foundation at St. Thomas, we are also educating all of our students to make ethical decisions as they think about the impact that digital platforms will have on people's lives. And that, to me, is what makes this conference different and what makes this conference very important. It's not only about the technologies themselves, but it is about how we deploy those technologies, how we use the technologies, and understand what the consequences of those technologies are going to be. Um, I have always told my students in engineering that they need to look at the larger picture. That is not only about making sure that the decisions that uh, they are making in particular designs are gonna be the best for them personally, or for their careers, or for their companies or organizations, but that they're also the right decisions for the local community, for the state, for the country, and for society as a whole. And that is very important to us, very close to the mission of our institution. So welcome once again. And at this moment, I would like to introduce Michael Wright, who is our chairman for the conference and who will give us an overview of what we're gonna experience today. Michael. Thank you very much, Eddie, and welcome everyone. Let me get the clicker here. So again, uh, just a few opening remarks. Uh, thank our sponsors, the university itself, uh, Dietrich RPM, uh, Intercepting Horizons, PKT, GoAgua, Global Wellness Consortium, and the Minnesota uh, SBIR. Uh, which is uh, part of Mintech. So welcome. A few years ago, we started to look at uh, how does this happen? What, what happens? We wrote a book called The Exponential Era, 
And we said, well, where's the inflection point? Things start to happen when things line up. That's a convergence. That's very interesting. So we were looking and looking to see if we could find what makes that happen, what comes together. So we were out there on our own, sort of searching around, and we came across someone named Frank Deanna. And Frank is with Tata, and he's a futurist, and he came up with something that we thought, that's very interesting. Let's grab onto that, because it probably has something we can find some nuggets in. And it does. He started to look at how do things converge and then play on the social fabric and then develop into ramifications into new ecosystems. And those new ecosystems is kind of where we started. We started to look at all the different social pieces, how they all play. And again, thank you, Frank, very much. And then those new ecosystems come out of something. And they come out of technology and they come out of a technology adoption and disruption. When we adopt a technology uh, and it ramifies, we make the mistake of calling it an exponential technology. There's no such thing as an exponential technology. There are germs that are exponential. They self-propagate exponentially. But it's the adoption that turns something into an exponential technology, into something that is used by many, many people. And today you're going to see people that are actually using convergences, these, taking existing platforms and new technologies and creating new things. And those new things then play against the social fabric and get adopted. And that's what creates the disruptions in the new ecosystems that you're going to see today. So we started to look here at the inflection. And we'll talk more about that later around uh, 1230 or so for those people that are online. Um, we know we lose a lot of people online uh, during that time frame, so we want to keep you there. You've had time to have a bio break while we're taking ours, and you've probably had lunch at your desk, so uh, hopefully we can entertain you a little bit there with a more, more information at that point. We'd also like to remind you that uh, those of you that uh, came in person, there's a free book out there for you. For others that aren't here and want to uh, purchase one, uh, there's a discount on that website, uh, theexponentialbook.com. And then we did something very interesting. People have heard about NFTs. That's another example of converging technologies, of bringing things together. David, in his talk, will go into a little more detail about that. But if you'd like to bid on a unique NFT that's built around the first ever conference, um, this is where you go to bid. So our day-to-day, -day, just a quick overview of what we have. Uh, we've had the introduction. You're going to uh, see uh, things from water with Pablo, from food, again from water, from air, innovations in air, food, and water. That's pretty interesting. Technology does touch us everywhere. To how we go to market, from Liz, from David, and looking at sports. Rick Harrison's going to talk to us a little bit about virtual reality and how it's used in planning and development. And then we have uh, the mayor of Edina, who's going to introduce the uh, first uh, major innovation in transportation in a hundred years, uh, the Hyperloop, which will be uh, gone over by Chuck Michael and then Tom Fisher from the School of Design, uh, the University of Minnesota, one of the leading thinkers in cities and uh, trends that are affecting everyone and how and where we live and the use of, of our assets and resources on the real estate front. Uh, Uma is going to talk about how uh, robotic automation is taking place and changing the landscape for many, many companies, costs. Uh, John Zangardi, we're very pleased to have someone of his stature here. Uh, he's the former CIO of the Department of Defense and the Department of Homeland Security. He's now CEO of Red Horse, and they are affecting government, bringing technologies together, converging them, using them, and leverage them in the IT space uh, to change how government uh, operates. And then we're very pleased to have uh, Tarek Tomes, the current commissioner for Minnesota IT, and also the current CIO, and also uh, Gopal Khanna, who is the first CIO of the state of Minnesota, who went on to do other things, and one of them was to be the director of the Health and Human Services, AHRQ. Uh, and so they're going to have a conversation after a few minutes of presentations on what's important to them when it comes to government, when it comes to health care, and uh, sort of a patient-centric and citizen-centric. And then we're going to have Patrick McKinney, who's going to talk about an impact in law enforcement, 
how technology is changing the way people respond and interact with law enforcement, uh, especially in the uh, uh, compliance area. And then Grant is gonna talk about the future of languaging in, in technology and AI. And then Ron Peterson, who's the former CTO of uh, Honeywell, is gonna talk about the future technologies that might come together and collide. And then at the end, I'll take about five minutes because it'll be late. Um, and let everybody go and sort of summarize where we're at. So I hope you have a really, really great day. Uh, it's important to know that uh, we spent a lot of time putting this together. We think what we've put together is a very important program of how people are using technology to change the world. Every speaker in here today is working on something that will impact your life at some point in the future. Every single one whether it's water, 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 where everything runs to water, uh, the air we breathe, the food we eat, the transportation we take, where we live and how we live. These convergences of technologies are creating entire new ecosystems, and we hope you enjoy them. Beyond that, uh, a couple of other housekeeping details uh, for people here. Uh, we will have lunch. It'll be at 12.15. There is a voucher. I have it. Um, for those of you at home at 12.30, like I said, we'll do a few minutes on... Uh, SPX and a couple of other things uh, that you might find interesting. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Jeremy, who's going to introduce our first speaker. And uh, I'll just give you a little thing about Jeremy. I've known him for uh, close to 20 years now. And Jeremy has worked with a lot of uh, startups and early stage companies. He's also developed a few other foundations and uh, organizations. He's uh, got about 25 years in business strategy and does a very good job, I think, of uh, helping his clients uh, find uh, new business opportunities and, and how to digitally transform. So Jeremy, Thanks, you got Michael. It. Welcome, everyone. Um, uh, if you couldn't feel the energy that Michael has, um, you can just give that to Papa. Um, if you couldn't feel the energy that Michael uh, is oozing out of him, we've been working on this for a long time. There is a team that has been thinking about this for a long time. And so thank you for those that came today. Thank you to those online that are participating. It's a strange time we're in. And um, Michael said something yesterday that I think was really important, which is it's time to get one in the can and get the, the, get the energy going. And I, and I applaud you for, for thinking that way uh, because everyone that I've talked to about this um, is beyond excited to have this conversation and get the energy going again. Even if we're a little uncomfortable with our social skills, even if we have to wear pants um, because we're not used to that, because we're wearing shorts on Zoom calls, everything has changed in this era that we're in. Um, and that is actually a reflection of what's happening with technology. And so uh, a couple of housekeeping things that I'm going to do. My job today is uh, ringmaster. We are going to keep on, on track. We have a lot of guests that are participating online, so we want to keep the schedule that, that Michael laid out. Um, and so all the speakers are going to be re respectful of that. We're going to take questions. Um, submit your questions online. There is a way to do that. Um, Brianna here is going to be collecting all of the questions, and, and I'll be facilitating those uh, with the speakers as, as possible. Um, for those in the audience, um, UST Open is the Wi-Fi. You do not need a password. Um, restrooms you can find. We'll cover lunch when it's, when it's time. Um, um, please silence your phones. How long has it been since you've heard someone say that? So I think that's just something to celebrate. Please silence your phones. <laughs> I was just thinking about all the differences that have happened in the last two years since we've actually convened together. Um, um, a cadence. Think about that today. I'm a canoer. I love being in the boundary waters. I love being on my canoe. The goal of today is to create a cadence for the rhythm of the speakers. And the speakers are all looking at this as dreamers who are also doers. These are people that are inspiring that are living dreams, that are executing. That is why they were invited to be here today. And with that, we, um, we thank each of the speakers. But as you're listening online, as you're thinking through this, and the questions that you're asking, think about how do we help people buy this technology, adopt this to improve our lives, to improve our safety, to improve the next generation of lives. That's really the common theme, even though each of the speakers are com covering completely different technologies, completely different spaces, the common theme is how do we better the world and the lives that we're doing. So with that, um, I heard the voice of, of um, welcome to Fantasy Island. Um, it's dating me a little bit. I was young when that was on. 
But if you, if you hear that voice, that's the way I'm thinking about each speaker today, which is that inspiration that, that we're, we're gonna be living through today.